what is going on everybody Mattitude 22 back at you guys with another video uh, as I just kind of get set up as you can see guys we have another uh, action figure extravaganza got a couple figures here we're gonna take a, a look at really quick um, as always the goal is always to try to do this uh, Quicker, quick, again, quicker reviews, but uh, more of them. And if you guys are appreciating, if you like this style of reviewing, uh, make sure you let me know in the comments. If you don't and you want to see me go back to the single reviews, I can do that too. If you want to see a combination of both. Uh, again, whatever you guys want to see, just sound down below, sound off down below. Uh, let me know. And I will do my best to make that happen for you guys. But all right, let's 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 do our Transformers first. Let's just get them out of the way. So we have our first, we have, uh, this was a three-pack. I think it was an Amazon exclusive. So the first one we have is Aragon. I'm not going to talk too much about this guy because he's basically just a repaint of a figure I've already reviewed. Um, I think he came out in... Uh, War for Cybertron, uh, Siege. I think he was like Wave 1. Um, but yeah, this is basically just a repaint. And you can see he was red. He looks pretty hollow. Uh, other than that, pretty average figure. Like I said, not going to spend too much time on this one. Uh, if, again, remember, if you want to see them transformed, make sure you stick around to the end. Because I always do that at the end. Next we have... Mirage, this is the translucent uh, blue Mirage, which I kind of didn't think I would like this figure, but I kind of do like him. I think the blue, the translucent blue, he just looks really cool. Um, the plastic looks really cool, like the gun, so not a lot of, not really any kind of paint on him or anything like that because he is just a translucent blue pa blue plastic. I'm already having a hard time speaking. Uh, he's just got the trans blue... Tr Guys, I almost said it again! He's got the translucent blue plastic. Very cool looking, and he's got the yellow eyes. Uh, probably will get the other Mirage at some point. Um, you know, when I have a regular Mirage. And the last one out of this set, we have Impactor. Decepticon Impactor. This is still a, a deluxe class figure, but he's a little bit bigger than the other. Oh, it never lasts that long. He's a little bit bigger than uh, Mirage and Aragon. So that's definitely nice. And I dig the color scheme. I don't know why, but I've always found that purple, any combination of purple and yellow or purple and orange, always looks really good together. And he doesn't look as hollow as the other ones, which is nice. Face looks good. Um, not really too much detail, but, you know, he's got the Decepticon logo, which kind of blends in, but you can see it okay. He's just got the one silver gun, which looks fine. A um, little bit of red detail in the leg. Very nice, and he's got the gun there. Like I said, we'll, 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 uh, we'll get these guys transformed. Um, and take a look at those later on. Next, we have the Mezco KO Frankenstein. Um... You know, if you know me, I, I, I do like the KOs. Uh, this is a good figure. I, I remember this was one of the first Mezcos that came out, and a lot of people weren't feeling the Frankenstein. But I got to say, I, I really am happy with how this guy turned out. I think, he, I think he looks great, personally. He comes with some accessories. Let's just, you know what, let's just uh, kind of clear some space. It's okay. Let's just clear some space. So we can look at his accessories. Comes with obviously, uh, as all the Mezco figures do, he comes with a base, which again, the base is nice. And I like that they're all look different. 
you know, they're not just, it doesn't just say like Mezco on it. Like they, you know, they actually have some paint apps and stuff on there. Some deco, which I think is nice. Obviously comes with the hook for the base. Not a lot of accessories for Frankenstein. I will say though, he comes with the alternate kind of angry head. And he comes with two basically alternate forearms. So not a lot of accessories, but you know what? That's okay. Uh, this was one of the earlier earlier Mezco figures, so they eventually got there. And this is a nice figure. My only complaint is I wish he was a little bit bigger, but it is it is Mezco scale, so I, I can't be too mad at it. Uh, he's got the black outfit. That's the other thing. I wish they gave him maybe a different color shirt. So he didn't just look so, you know, he's black on black. Like, he's got the black pants, the black jacket. I, w I wish they would have given him a green shirt, maybe to complement his skin a little more. And I like the little shackle there. There was one on this side, but I, I took it off because, I don't know, why not? Figured I only needed to have one. And there you go. It just kind of hooks around. Articulation, the head moves side to side, forward and back at the neck. Moves forward and back at the neck. We get an ab crunch, waist twist. Um, and then the arms, they do all the stuff that Mezco figures typically would do. Obviously, uh, you can't really see the joints. And the feet don't move, but he just has these kind of big lumbering black boots so i get why the feet don't move but nonetheless very cool figure uh i i like this frankenstein i needed a frankenstein for my universal monsters which he's not gonna scale the best with but hey that's that's okay he, he, he'll be just fine next we have from super seven we have the masters of the universe classics merman merman is probably my favorite uh he-man character because why not just look at him? He's just a cool looking fish guy. All right, for starters, the the paint they use on the skin I think is really nice. It's like a it's like a nice turquoise. It looks really good. And then they it blends well with the orange and the yellow. Now this piece is just a soft piece. Uh, it's got the sword which doesn't really have any paint on it and the spear which aside from the little red dot, no paint, but the face sculpt, I think they really, really did good with the face sculpt. I think it looks great. Um, yeah, this is definitely a sleeper figure, and there's some shading, some black shading on the arms, and not really on the legs. Well, you got a little bit, so you can see on the front of the legs, a little bit, not a lot, but you know what? Um... A little, a little shading is better than no shading. Am I right? Uh, yeah, yeah. A little shading is better than no shading. He also comes with the gun, which I just kind of hooked onto his belt. I don't think it's actually supposed to go there, but I just hooked it on there anyway. Uh, not a lot of movement, as these Super 7 figures don't really have a lot of articulation. I think they basically just use the Mattel style articulation so you can't do that much with him but if you've been collecting more like recent He-Man figures you're used to them not being able to move because you're used to Mattel figures so it should be okay uh yeah if, if you like He-Man and you like Merman or if you just like cool underwater style characters then uh, this might be the way to go. All right, Super 7 Merman. Let's, let's take a look at our another horror figure. We have the uh, Movie Maniacs Blair Witch, which I think this is just like a concept figure because I don't think anyone's actually ever seen the Blair Witch. But you know what? She looks cool. For starters... Uh, the skin is all textured to to look very much like wood. Like you can see up close, it just like the way they did it. It just looks 
like she's made of wood and there you get the scary Blair Witch face which is kind of hidden by the shawl I almost uh, take that out of there so you can see that spooky face with the horns uh, very cool very nice and the fabric here it, it's, it's just a softer plastic well, it's not fabric it's supposed to be like fabric uh, nice softer plastic and you can see it's got the blood on the bottom so very scary looking very cool looking and there's some there's some green shading on there too so it's not even just it's not even just a solid black but there's kind of like some nice green shading that they put in there i really really appreciate that uh accessories she comes with two accessories if i can get them apologies for that all right so accessories accessories she comes with a little stick man which if you guys saw the movie uh, you know they would find those all over the woods and then she comes this is another kind of So she comes with the bundle of sticks, and I think uh, I think there was like the guy's part of the guy's shirt that went missing was in there. I, I don't not really don't really remember. I haven't seen that movie in a while, but it's definitely a good movie. She doesn't hold either of them, uh, so forget that because her hands were not sculpted to hold anything. They're just kind of claws. Uh, as far as articulation goes, her feet barely move. So they barely have cut joints. And then the arms just pretty much swivel forward and back. Like I said, uh, really, we're really talking about just the bare minimum of moving. And it looks like her hand could hold something, but I, I, I really think that's just an illusion. To make you think that she would hold something because uh man you could try to put it in there but it's just gonna keep falling out all right next let's do our contra figures from NECA I was excited to get these I've wanted these for a long time I missed them when they first dropped and uh trying to find them at a reasonable price and uh Oh, let me put them both in frame. That would be better. I I, I gotta say, uh, finally getting these two figures. Oh, hold that thought, guys. I, I need to go get myself a drink. All right. Um, yeah. So upon getting these figures, uh, I learned the true definition of disappointment. Uh, so they do come with blast effects. That's for the spread gun. That's for the standard gun, which is pretty nice. They come with a lot of stuff. Which I'll give them that. So they come with that, which is, uh, kind of sits like that. Uh, again, I think it was just an upgrade for the spread gun. They come with a single bullet, and you could peg any one of those in to the guns. They also come with uh, this, which, you know, this would float around the game and you would shoot it. And that's how you would get weapon upgrades. So that's kind of nice. And they come with a they come with a base to hold that, which which is nice in in theory. In theory, they come with some nice stuff. Now, the deco obviously is what it is because these were made to tie in with their uh they're 8-bit figures. So the deco, the, the more like video game, 8-bit uh, style deco, I don't mind. The camo looks good. They both have a sidearm and a holster and a knife with a holster. And then they both pretty much the same body, same deco, minus uh, red has gloves, blue doesn't. I don't remember their names, uh, to be honest with you uh let's see yeah and they both come with the ammo not a belt but sash whatever now here here you go here's first of all look how freaking ugly this guy is 
Like, he just looks freaking ugly. Uh, which, okay, I'll give the benefit of the doubt. Why did they, why did they do, like, a light, like, airbrush of light blue at the front of the hair, but then none at the back? It, it just doesn't look right at all. Uh, the gun looks cool, and you can see he can hold it nicely with two hands. Now, this is where, uh, this, my friends, is where the shit really hits the fan. What is going on there? Why is he cross-eyed? Listen, man, I have nothing against people being, well, listen, if a character is supposed to be cross-eyed, then it should look like that. It should be part of it. I get that. That would be one thing. But you've, we've never even seen a close-up of these characters. So I know they didn't intentionally do it. This is just bad QC, man. That's what it is. It's not even he's cross-eyed. It's just his eyes are looking towards the middle. Just awful. Just awful. And the same thing with the hair. They did some weird like white shading at the front. And then nothing... On the rest of the yellow hair. Uh, yeah. Like I said. The the only kind of. The only defining thing about these figures. And the waist twist. It's like. It's, it's almost like he's already broken. Uh, you know. And what we know NECA figures are prone to break. Just uh, like I said man. I feel like. These had potential. And don't get me wrong. Like they're cool figures. Like I'm. I'm, ha I'm happy to have them because we don't have any other Contra figures. And I played Contra a lot as a kid. But M M uh, NECA, you could have done a lot better with these. And you know what? Maybe these are just mine. Maybe if you get these figures, maybe they're not going to have this problem. But uh, just... Uh, just shameful man that's that's the that's the only way i can think to describe it just uh just just disappointing uh let's see that all right next let's go ahead and look at from figma we have saber from fate stay night which uh i'm gonna say right off the bat not not the best anime in the world, but you know what? It's an anime I watched, and if if I watched if if I watch an anime and there's figures, I'll try to get the figures for them just because I watched it. Uh, yeah. Right off the bat, I'm gonna go ahead and say, uh, Fate Fate Stay Night. Not not the best, but this figure is nice, uh, especially for a knockoff. So she comes with the base, Figma base, pretty standard. She comes with two holsters or scabbards if for whatever reason you don't want to have her holding both swords. And they look nice. The detail on them is really cool. My camera would focus. The detail on them is really, really cool. So I like that. She comes with a bunch of hands, a bunch of silver hands, and that's not all of them. She's got two more so she's got a more open hand fist and she comes in addition to the stoic face she comes also with the yelling face and the more kind of determined face uh ex exa exasperated face and then she comes with slightly a slightly different hairline don't really know why so the accessories are on point and this is a nice looking figure even if you didn't like the show which like i said not the best so I'll, I'll i'll give you the benefit of the doubt if you're like hey like that show sucks i i will 100 percent give you the benefit of the doubt and be like yes but uh i will argue that this figure is just overall solid looks really nice so both the swords have nice detail on them i think they both look nice in their own way this one's more of a 
a saber. Her name's obviously her name's saber. And then you got the more big kind of cleaver. Uh, paint is nice. The dress is hinged, so you can, if you want to do a more action pose, you can do that. I'm not gonna really uh, mess with this figure too much because it is a KO and. You know, they're not super durable, but this is a good figure. If you if you like this show at all, uh, I, I would definitely recommend picking this up. I don't know if I'll get anything else from that line, because I don't think they have many other characters from that first uh, season. And like I said, I don't know if I like that show good enough to keep going back. Did y'all did y'all watch uh, Fate Stay Night? Is it good? Is it is it worth going back into it? Like I watched the one with the guy from high school and she's kind of lives at his house. Um, I think there's like a Lancer figure, which is pretty hard to get. But y'all let me know. Is, is it worth? Uh, should I should I watch more Fate Stay Night? Should I give it more of the benefit of the doubt? And uh, what should I what should I watch? Like I said, y'all let me know. Y'all let me know. Uh, next, we have our Hella and and uh, Scourge two pack. Don't have the Hella because I've already reviewed that figure. This figure was just basically a repack, and uh, I'm gonna be repainting her. But I'll just show you two separate heads. I'll just show you the accessories. She comes with the grabbing the hammer, which I think is cool. And a little fire effect. And Scourge comes with two alternate hands. Not a plethora of accessories. And again. Alright. So now looking at Scourge. Uh, looks re really good. Maybe a little bit small. But overall. Really nice looking figure. Um, face sculpt is pretty good man. I think they got a pretty good likeness. He comes with the axe, which I just kind of use some clear rubber bands to tie to the back. I think that looks good because you get uh, you get the two assault rifles, which I forget what he I, for, I forget what he called them uh, in, in the movie. If you remember, make sure you, you, you like drop a drop a comment. Armor looks good, nice and shiny, nice and glossy, and there's some silver accents all over it. You got a little bit of blue, some nice uh, paint on the on the pants with the red stripes, and then the boots really shiny and glossy. Shoulder pads are softer, so they don't really inhibit the articulation uh, too much, but they are a, a tad bit solid. And the rifles, no paint on them whatsoever. They're just molded in black, pretty much just molded in the black plastic uh articulation the head moves side to side i already showed you the arm pretty much it's all standard legends articulation double jointed elbow which doesn't really work that well doesn't really function as a double jointed elbow wrist hinge and then he's got the diaphragm joint the hips double jointed knee you can see works a lot better um, and the feet the ankle pivot is good ankle rockers are good it's a solid figure man i really don't think he needed to come with hella i think it this would have just been a uh, fine on his own um hopefully we'll get a comic accurate uh, executioner because i know myself and a lot of other people have been uh, hoping to see that at some point no I think, um, all right, so moving down, winding down, I should say. Next, we have SH Figure Arts Bulma from Dragon Ball. This is a fun figure. Uh, let me show you the accessories. She doesn't come with a tremendous amount of them, so obviously, we have alternate faces she's got the she's got the winking face she's got the more happy face fist well she's got two fists 
She's got two kind of open hands. She's got the more outstretched palm. And she comes with the kind of small gripping hand. And then she comes with the dragon radar hand, which uh, the dragon radar pegs into it. So that's nice. Hair right there. Get out of there. Get out of there, hair. And she comes with the one star Dragon Ball. Um, nope, my mistake. Five star Dragon Ball. So there you go. I didn't get all the Dragon Ball figures. I just kind of got Bulma. Because uh, I had a feeling this was probably going to be the only Bulma we ever got. But uh, I, I passed on the other. Oh, I think I got Roshi too. Uh, so I got I got a couple of Dragon Ball ones. Whichever ones, basically, I didn't think uh, they were going to make in the Dragon Ball Z line. Now, she also comes with the, the little Uzi, but she doesn't really hold it well. But you can, you can get it. You can get it tucked in. I don't recall... I haven't watched Dragon Ball in a long time, but I don't recall Bulma using an Uzi. But uh, hey, you know what? God, God, God bless her. Uh, now this is a nice looking figure. For starters, the color for the hair I think is perfect. I think it perfect captures Bulma's signature uh, shade of blue hair. Face looks good. Got the blue eyes. She's got the goggles, which I think you could pull. You could put on her. If you pop the head off, uh, I think you probably could, but I'm not quite sure. And the cutoff Ruby Riot style pants with the green pouch. Some boot, some nice paint detail on the boots. Uh, minus the buckles. Actually, the buckles are painted. Yeah, you can see they painted the buckles. They're just hard to see. She's got the tan pants and then Bulma on that arm. Very, very nice looking figure. Very... Uh, Petite figure, this is younger Bulma. But you know what? Like I said, uh I don't mind having a mix of like Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z and Super and you know movie characters, GT characters, whatever. I think that's perfectly fine. I, I will say my one complaint, the Uzi looks good. I just wish she held it a little bit better. Uh head does rotate again. It's 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 figure arts, man. So there's pretty much nothing that you can't do with this figure. You could pretty much do anything. And actually, the belt buckle is painted. I just noticed that. It's a nice touch. But yeah, you could you could do almost anything with this figure. And I think I just I think I just pushed it too far to the limit. And there we go. See, she's got the band aids there. You know, Bulma's. Bulma's a lot of things, and at the top of the list, she is an adventurer. And, like I said, just try to get her for, for closing. Yeah, kind of holding the Uzi. Uzi. But. Like I said, she doesn't hold it. She doesn't hold it perfectly, but there you go, man. Looks uh looks good nonetheless. I'm 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 happy with this figure. Alright guys, we're almost done here. Hopefully you're still enjoying the video. Hopefully you're still with it. Uh got two figures left to go. Well, two technically three. But we have our last uh TMNT cartoon two pack. We have Donatello and Krang. Accessories. I'm not gonna take them out of the bag because there's not really a lot. Basically, you just get the you just get the T phone, a closed one and an open one. You get two alternate hands and you get this, which you just pop on top of Krang, I guess. So not too much in terms of accessories. Uh, now these figures look nice. For starters, the brain for Krang looks very cool. You can take it out. And there goes his little arm. That's unfortunate. 
So you could take the brain out and you could pop the little uh, the little tentacles in there. The brain looks really good, man. Really nice. Really nice work on that. It's got the nice soft pink kind of like cotton candy. And you just close it like that. It's got the little legs. I can't wait till we get the big Krang body that they showed at Toy Fair. And then uh, you get the little tentacle. As far as this goes, not a lot of articulation. It just kind of hinges at the top. And then this part hinges forward and back. And for Donatello, yeah, he's got a darker green skin tone. I think he's a little bit darker than the others, but... Uh, not too sure. I could be. I could be wrong about that. I have to get them all side by side. He's got his trademark bow staff. Um, yeah, like I said, you've already seen the other ones. This is the same thing, pretty much, just different weapon and purple. Like I said, I don't really feel like I need to go too much in depth here. But yeah, that is it. Uh, overall, like I said, I'm in the other reviews. Really happy to have these turtle figures he's a uh, big improvement from the ones i had before and our last but not least uh we have the storm collectibles marcus phoenix for those uh for those that don't know uh give me a sec sorry guys i'm just responding to a text or else this person is going to keep trying to text me Apologies for that. Anyway, guys, I got an Xbox One for Christmas from my beautiful, beautiful uh, wife. So very happy for that. And I recently got heavy into Gears of War. I played all the games. I'm currently playing the fourth one. But at the time of actually watching this, I'm probably finished the fourth one. On to the fifth. Um, reading some of the books. So definitely I knew I needed to get Gears of War figures and uh yeah so this is the storm collectibles marcus phoenix this is the color variant so he's got the light blue armor i don't know the significance of it but you know what i think it looks really good i think the overall the armor looks good this just really nicely sculpted really nicely detailed you can see a nice pattern in the pants uh the Lancer looks very, very cool. I wish the Chainsaw Blade actually moved. But you know what? That's okay. Like I said, I think this Lancer still looks great. He holds it great. I did, And I did choose to put the younger head sculpt on him because I want it to be a younger Marcus. Because uh, I got some other Gears figures coming. This overall looks really nice. You could tuck the hand in there. Uh, other than arms move really well i mean the shoulder pad is a soft rubber so no issues there like i said just these figures are just great storm collectibles really doing it justice uh giving us really good figures i really so soft uh, the belt is a soft rubber too and he's got the cog logo right there i've never actually messed with a hot toys figure uh and this is where uh, it all comes. All right, my apologies. As I was saying, these are these figures kind of make me think of like small hot toys because they're larger than regular six inch scale. They come with lots lots of swappables, lots of accessories. They pose really well. They look really nice. They're detailed really nicely. I mean, look at that face sculpt. The face is absolutely perfect. Uh, and they come with tons of accessories, as you will see here. Uh, no shortage of accessories. So, Marcus comes with... Now, he comes with two of the older head sculpts. One with the bandana, one without. Because this is a... I should mention that this is Gears 5, Marcus. Comes with the pistol with the Nasher shotgun it comes with a another Lancer it's with the knife frag grenade and a bunch of hands so he comes with the pointing finger 
comes with two fists and two weapon holding hands. Like I said, no shortage of accessories. Uh, yeah, these figures are, I think, are, are, I think, as close to perfect as you can get. I know the Mortal Kombat ones are good, but for someone like, uh, for like Gears, Gears figures where they're so thick and they're so bulky, you wouldn't think they would be able to pose this well. Uh, I got a couple NECA ones coming, so I'm excited to see, to compare, but I don't think the NECA ones, if I'm being honest, I don't think the NECA ones will be able to compete. I just talk about the feet, so he does have ankle rockers and ankle pivot, nice bend in the knee, you know, and all this stuff, it's like soft rubber, so no issues with articulation, just nice, I mean, even just down to the boots, the detail just flawless i uh, really like this figure man but guys that is gonna wrap it up here thank you so much for watching i hope you liked the video if you did please like the video please share it with your friends leave me a comment let me know what figure out of what we looked at was your favorite and of course guys subscribe we are sneaking up on 300 and i'd really really love to hit that milestone uh soon if i could but anyway if not I really appreciate your support. All the same, thank you guys. Uh, also, I want to say, if you do leave a comment, I'm always open to f to criticism and feedback. Just please, please don't be a dick. Let's keep the comments nice. Let's uh, let's really be positive and kind of build each other up. Let's not let's not be dicks to each other. But anyway, guys, have yourselves a great day. I will see you in the next video. And bye. All right, everybody, if you are still here, it's because you chose to stick around and see the packaging. So I will show you those really quickly. Uh, you can see there is the three pack we got. Looks very nice. See the alt modes, which again, uh, I will... Uh, be doing the alt molds probably after the packaging or before i don't know there is the box for figure arts bulma this side and there you go back just for people that like the packaging we have figma uh lancer saber Don't recall if I mentioned, but uh, this is a KO. I can't remember if I mentioned it during the video, but there we go. There is Merman. There's a bio right there. Of course, if you want to read it, you, you guys already know. Pause the video now. Blair Witch, Blister Card. I don't think I have anything else from here. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything else. There is uh, the box for the Contra figures. Like I said, it looks right out of the NES game. Very nostalgic. Like I said, I actually, I wanted these figures to be better, man. I wish... Oh, I wanted to like these figures a little bit more. Um, there you go. There is a bio there too, if you want to read that. I I, I just think these figures uh, had a lot of QC issues, but there is a uh, not so much cost in Canada. Yeah, I forgot to mention this was a GameStop exclusive variant. Uh, yeah, but that, you know what, that's all in all early NECA. I'll, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Give them the benefit of the doubt and say that, you know what, NECA, NECA stepped their game up. They got better. So, 
I, I can't I can't be too mad at them. So. Yeah, there you go. You got the bio for Scourge and the bio for Hella. So very nice. Hella there. Donnie and Krang. See side. That's that. And last but not least, Frankenstein. Which is uh, pretty. Not much to that. It's actually pretty creepy right there. Well, wow. and there you have it, guys. So that was the packaging. I uh, hope you liked it. As always, hope you liked the video. I will see you guys next time. And bye. All right, everybody. So that for everyone who wanted to see it or decided to stick around, we have our three. We have uh, I don't remember this guy's name. Uh, Arag Aragon, Aragon. We have Impactor and we have Mirage. All in their alt modes, as you can see, this one pretty much similar to Cog. I, I, although I don't think I transformed them correctly, I think there's a better way to transform them. But uh, like just different weapon layout and stuff like that. But overall, I mean, I think he looks okay like that. Um, I wasn't really a fan of this the first time. I'm not a huge fan of it here. I think it's just pretty unoriginal. And then we have Mirage, which is a very nice, very cool looking Formula One car. Let's see, he's got the two guns. Again, it is translucent, so it looks nice. A little bit hollow, but that's okay. And his transformation was pretty, uh, sim was pretty simple yet difficult. There was one part, just the legs, but other than that, I think he just looks really nice. I still think I might want to get the, the regular one and just to have them in the regular colors, but not too sure. And then my favorite impactor, uh, he just looks like just a menacing tank with just like these prods in the front. You know, you can just kind of plow the other ones out of the way. Um, and he's got the two guns. Very cool looking. I think, like I said, uh, when I kind of showed them in robot mode, I think uh, Impactor is probably my favorite out of this set. And then Mirage, and then Aragon. But they also have a couple combined modes, but I'm, I'm, I'm not going to get into that. Uh, you know, I'm not going to just get into that because... Uh, I don't know why, just because. <laughs> Sorry if that's not a good answer, but just because. Uh, there you go, guys. So I hope you like the alt mode. Hope you like the video. Make sure you like it. Don't forget to share and subscribe. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye.